Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Mark Ash and I'm here with Tammy. We're here today, uh, we're in lockdown still, uh, but we've come in today to do a little bit of uh, behind the scenes, closed down work on this um, RS3. This, uh, this car is actually a APR, I believe an APR stage two at the moment. Um, but customers obviously wanted to upgrade to go and get that little bit extra power to stage three. So um, obviously we've taken this opportunity whilst this car has been left with us to get on with the job and get this finished so the customer needs to have his, obviously needs to have his car back. So uh, yes, let's talk about a little bit about the turbo unit uh, that the car's now been fitted with. And then we'll talk a little bit about the, the uh, throttle uh, inlet and obviously the, the filter. Tabby, I'll hand over to you to talk about a little bit about the product. Yeah, so basically this vehicle is now running a uh, TTE hybrid turbo. Uh, it's the TTE 700 in this case. Um, it makes, you know, for a great turbo, spools really well and holds a lot of power. Um, <clears throat> other things that are on the car, we have the full APR, intake the carbon um, with a forged turbo inlet pipe we have a cts uh, throttle body elbow um, and discharge pipe also running uh, upgraded port injectors uh, which are 980 cc um, it's also running a forged intercooler on this one i mean it's really you know pretty much it i mean to run this turbo this setup on 99 octane fuel just your regular pump fuel uh you know you're running about 620 horsepower and about 540 foot pounds of torque uh if you were to if you were to run a an alcohol based fuel so like an e85 you would need uh an uprated low pressure fuel pump just to uh cope with with the extra energy that's required so, so for the, the... Yeah, so this is this is actually the same turbo that we ran on our TTRS. Yes. Uh, and pretty much the same setup. Apart yeah, it's from pretty much. the fueling solution that, uh, you know, that we needed to put to, to upgrade for the E85. So our TTRS on the, on the E85, um, I mean, obviously it had a few extra little bits and tricks. So we had the, we didn't have the downpipes on there. We had the turn downs, yeah. etc. But that actually produced 734 horsepower on the dyno on this yeah. dyno and 560 foot pounds of torque uh, the so, reason the torque was you know the capability of the torque is much higher and um, the reason we kept kept it low was you know for the sake that it's running on stock internals and we wanted to keep the yeah. internals inside the engine so i mean we've fitted quite a few of these these turbos now uh with zero issues uh, ours was, uh, I would say we probably did about 40, 45 uh, quarter mile runs on that turbo. Yeah, we turbo, did, we did. And it was faultless every single time. Lots of quarter mile runs uh, on the ethanol. Um, and then even after that, we developed the 99 octane tune with the guys at APR. And then, you know, it ran, uh, say like a track set up for, you know, a long time as well. Yeah. Did a uh, multiple track events was used daily on the road and then you know we decided to sell it we decided to get the rs6 um but for me this is probably one of the better or the best engines out there yeah. tune tuning wise um you know I mean, stage one and stage two on these cars are just unbelievable yeah so the, the car standard is 400 brake horsepower yeah um, we see about, and, I, and I'll say this loosely, uh, depending obviously on the intercooler, if we put an intercooler on yeah. there, but you'll see anything from 480, yeah. 4, 480 to 495 horsepower. Yeah, I mean that. On stage one. And I think once we go to stage two, then we're up to the 525 horsepower, so on stage two. So these, these engines are pretty much bulletproof uh, at that level. And to be fair, um, the TTE 700s, you know, running, and they do they do vary, don't they? Run through from 585 up to 620 horsepower. Yeah, and I mean that can all be sort of hardware, hardware dependent, um, whether certain bits of hardware can cope as well as you know other manufacturers that are out there. Um, you know, again, 
one of the, the worst things for, for us UK guys, anybody right hand drive, um, is because of the brake, the location of the, the brake servo and the brake master cylinder, it means that our turbo inlet pipe is, is vastly smaller than um, the guys, you know, with the left hand drive where the, the servo and, and the master's on the other side of the vehicle. And that allows them to run a much, much larger uh, inlet pipe, which is also a, an advantage over, you know, what we have over here. I mean, the, this is still doing the job. I mean, we, with the TTRS, we're probably European record holder still with that one. On a TTRS, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so. so obviously, we ran. We we went to three events with obviously our TTRS. Um, we went to Crail. Uh, we went to Spitfire Raceway. And obviously we went to Santa Pod and we took three records obviously with this turbo uh, and the APR, um, the APR ECU um, software, you know, we took the three records. Uh, yeah, I think 9.4 was the best at 150. was our best, yeah. Trail, we did 9.5. And on our first outing, we only got two runs in at Santa Pod, we did a 9.7. Yeah. So, I feel if we'd have gone I think the gone biggest back issue there. with these, these engines, are, if you're going to tune these engines, it's limiting the torque. Yeah, I mean, keeping the torque down, you know, is, is help with the longevity. And again, one of the things we like to try and drum home is, is servicing, maintaining the vehicles, you know, regular changes of spark plugs, regular oil changes, um, you know, your, your DSG. If, for example, you know, Audi are telling you it's 40,000 miles, you know, if you drive the car hard, you want to be at least half in that. Um, same with your oil, you, you know, we, our stage three we do it every 3,000 miles or after events, um, you know, our advice to customers, you know, three to 6,000 miles, you want to be changing your oil, you want to run it on the best fuel that you can possibly run it on, um, I mean, 99 in most cases, um, but yeah, anything you can do to help, you know, with the maintenance of the vehicle. And this, this, this engine or this, this, this APR tune is capable of a switchable maps in this? Yeah, so this ECU. So they do happen to not be able to get the 99 fuel. They can switch yeah. by the way of either cruise control or by the APR mobile, mobile app. dongle, yeah. And then they can change the file to a 90, 95 file. Yeah. Obviously, that's not. That's the lowest, obviously, that's calibrated for. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the, the not control is good um, but you still you don't want to be you know running it on awful fuel yeah so um you know any questions you've got on these uh, tt 700s and stage three builds uh put a comment below in the in the links um and we can get back to you with any any answers yeah this is this is one of the uh, just to run back on some things this is one of two um that we're actually currently building i'm just in on my own for a couple of days during the lockdown just to get these cars done we have this one that's going to be running the tt 700 we also got a, a rs3 saloon also that's going to be running the srm uh, gtx hybrid turbo and um, so it'd be good to see the results comparable results between those two with the tunes as well should be uh, fun to see but like you know like mark says you know hit us up in the comments Again, we're really restricted on what we can do and what we can bring to you. We're really excited to get out there, get driving some of the cars and get some more videos out there of, you know, actually driving the cars and the performance of the vehicles and testing that. Um, you know, we have the rolling road here, which is great, but, you know, it's not as fun to watch something run on a rolling road than it is to, you know, have it out there on, a, on, on the road or out on a track, um, you know, yeah. really pushing it to its limits. So that's it guys, really. I mean, I just want to say, uh, you know, it's a shame that we can't bring you some more exciting content with stuff being out on the road. I mean, this for the moment is exciting as it gets. I mean, obviously uh, there, are, there are hardly any staff in here at the moment, otherwise we, we wanted to do a bit of a tour around the building for you guys as well, but uh, there's not a great to see and there's obviously not a lot going on. So um, please keep watching the channel. Uh, we'll bring some more um, roads uh, entertainment coming soon. Yeah, for sure. Um, stay safe and we'll speak to you soon. Yeah, cheers guys. Stay safe.